Hello world, I'm Alex Nieva here at Infusion Systems working with the IQBX line of products. Today I'm going to show you how to connect the YDIG to Touch Designer. Touch Designer is a cool program to make visualizations combining images, audio and video. Also, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect the YDIG in a different way to the computer. We're going to use it as a USB serial device and we are only going to use Connect to configure uh, its parameters. So the first thing we need to do is connect the YD, connect the sensor, sorry. Uh, in this case we're going to use the Orient 4D sensor from Infusion Systems and uh, then we're going to use, we're going to power it up through the USB port. So there you go, YD is there and let's go to the computer and look for connect. Here it is. So, when you use connect directly with the YDIG, you can activate the sensors that are in each of the eight inputs in this part of the panel. So, in this case, we have a sensor in input one. So, we're going to hit input one. And then you see you start receiving data, and here's an indicator. If you left click on the indicator, you have options to choose what type of sensor you have. In this case you have the Orient 4D, you click there. And then you also can click twice again and then you are going to see an input box where you can put the method for this digital sensor. So in this case we're going to use zero because we want to send quaternion information into Touch Designer. So what else do we need to configure here. We're going to be sending OSC data, open sound control data to Touch Designer. So we click here on enable and we're going to send it through port 9999. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing you need to do to configure the YD. So let's go into Touch Designer. So Touch Designer has many chops that you can use to process audio and video. In this case we're going to receive OSC data, we're going to send it to a 3D render object and we're going to be able to control its parameters. But I'm going to do it from scratch so that you can see what I do to get this working. So I'm going to erase, oops, sorry, I'm going to erase all these And then the first thing you need to do is to choose the chop that receives OSC data. That would be the OSC in chop. So let's put it here in our, in our network. And we have to change in the properties uh, box the port in which is receiving the data. It's 9999. So there you go. You see, automatically, you start to receive quaternion data. So then, since uh, we're going to use the angular chop to change quaternion data into uh, rota a rotation matrix, but the angular chop needs the data ordered in a different way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add here a chop called select. I'm going to put it here. Let me make it bigger. And uh, the order is going to be as follows. We're going to send first X, then Y, then Z, and then W. That is, that is going to reorder the position of the data coming into, uh, into Touch Design. So now we can use the angle chop. I'm going to put it here. And look at this. This angle chop can receive quaternions and it's going to output degrees and it's going to, it's going to get a rotation matrix Rx, Ry and Rc. So if I move my Orient 4D sensor you see that I am already getting quaternion data that is being translated into rotation angles. That's awesome. So I'm going to go back to Touch Designer 
and uh, I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit and finally I'm gonna use a null object or chop uh, it is here to transfer the data to our geo uh, object so what is happening here here in in the property window of the geometry or geo one you have to tell which instance or chop is sending data into it here I selected no one and I am sending Rx as the rotation in the x-axis, Ry and Rc corresponding to the y and the z-axis. So if you see, now we can rotate our object um, uh, with our motion sensor. So I'm going to zoom in and look at this. Right now my sensor is pointing to the north, so if I roll it, the object follows, and if I change the pitch, it also follows. If I change the heading, it also follows my sensor. That's cool. So what can I do with this? For example, I can use my wearability stra strap and for example put this on my hand and then I could control the rotation of objects using my hand so that's a cool application where you use the YD sending OSC data into Touch Designer please stay tuned for more videos in the following weeks thanks a lot